capital lost. My lord, Enidwife has lost its capital. The fishermen and crude tribesmen will be severely weakened with this loss. Whether they threaten Middle-earth at all now remains to be seen. Karasant besieged again. Alkfud sacked. A day of triumph has come to the enemies of the fisher folk throughout Enidwife. The town of Alkfud is no longer under the control of the local clansmen, who now flee towards the coast. Meetings, to meetings between the clans of Enidwife commence as the fisher folk try to find ways to drive the enemy from their lands. The people of Enidwife must unite into one force to cast the enemy from their homeland and, re and retake the Great Hall of Alkfud. Our spies have been sent us to the other report, yes. And that was me! Okay, so. End of turn report. Relations report. So, so with uh, Misty Mountains and Angmar, okay? And welcome back to Third Age Total War. So I'm trying to figure out where the hell this army came from. It just, it just kind of just showed up last turn. It, it just it just showed up in the middle of this forest. I mean, it's not going anywhere fast, you know, because it's, you know, because like because it's there. But uh, I'm not, I don't know. Maybe they're going to Lund Angren. You know, so I'm not sure if Vanna 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 should be uh, should be moving. Most of uh, most of Enidwife's forces have moved to the southeast, though. It looks like they're retreating for Druid the Hour or something. I'm not uh, I'm not entirely sure. So yes, my lord. But yes. I, 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 yes, I don't know where that army came from, and it, it's vexing me because I'm like, can we can we just not pull armies out of our out of our asses here? Because <laughs> this is a pretty big army too. Let me look at that. And then Wildman, you know, it has Grey Flood Raiders, Foresters of Halith. Has a lot of powerful, not powerful, but has a lot of their stronger troops in it. You know. Um. My lord. You know, so that's that's just kind of a mildly unsettling development there. Uh, Elves. So we just need to kind of rush our reinforcements southward. It's not going to work, really. I can't really rush them, necessarily, but... Necessarily, but, yes. Necessarily, but. <laughs> trying to determine where the borders are. Anyway, um... Yeah, I, I, Where did you come from, Ross? Where did you come from? I just cropped up out of nowhere, and next thing you know, you know, he's just... He's there. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Okay, it's all squalor here that's reducing their, uh, that's reducing their growth because this, because the city's, uh, because the population's bigger than the, than the city's walls can handle. Yeah, I don't know if I should attack Karas now or not because I don't know if they're, uh, if they're trying to invade Londangren. If they are, and they're not going to make it for, like, three turns, but, um... Yeah, I, I don't. You know, that there's there's uh, there's risks associated with it since since I thought they were I thought like their only armies were the one in the fort and their clan moots, but leader. But um, if that's not it, then I'm actually you know then I'm uh, then this army is actually weaker than I can than I can really afford to send out there. So it might be smarter just to re withdraw to Londangren. I mean, I've kind of I mean I kind of blocked off the enemy anyway, so. I you know I kind of blocked off the enemy already, so it, it's like I uh, or rather I blocked off area doors, so it's not like they're going to attack here anytime soon. By the light of Elberith, you know I can. Wind. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replenish my forces, you know, and hit hit it with a bigger army. I mean, it's probably going to have a nice garrison by the time I'm ready. But I'm going to hit it with a bigger army and hope that maybe Gondor will take Drea the hour. And uh, yeah. So, let us save and try to spy a bit. Linden 2. Save game succeeded. Watching. Yay! But I didn't get any experience. Boo! My Lord. <laughs> okay, let's find where Enidwife's leader is gone. Clantmoot, Clantmoot, yes. Clanmoot leader is gone. Okay, there he is. is There's an Isengard want? army. I wonder if they're going to attack us. They could. But Isengard's on the ropes, it really is. Hold on, let's check. But, 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 too far. But, 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 there we are. Ah, it doesn't tell us. It doesn't tell us what their strength is. I want to know what their strength is. Because Isengard, I'm pretty sure, only controls, uh, you know, it only controls Nankirinir and, uh, and Fortrius here, so. Fort, Fortrius. Also, while you weren't looking, I made a, I made an alliance with, uh, Rohan. 
So hopefully they won't be attacking me anytime soon if once my borders once I share borders with them. Because that's my, that was my biggest concern. Ah, hello. Here's the is Entish territory, Fangorn Forest. Yes, I traded I traded the alliance for uh, map information from uh, Rohirrim from uh, Rohan uh, what? Rohan rather. So uh, now I know where all their positions are and whatnot, and I still don't know where the village for Druithiar is. Don't know at all. So there's uh, there's some news for you. And I think that's the turn, really. Um, might skip a little bit after this, just to uh, you know, just to uh, just to give you s interesting things to look at. First, we shall move the spy. I shall continue tomorrow. Why is the circle still there? <laughs> Whatever. Yes, my lord. My lord. As you wish. Hello, Gondorian army. How are you? No! What? I deselected him. I know I did. I just clicked. Without no, stop. Uh. Anyway. Elven warriors! Ships ready! All right, I think that's it for the turn, so let's uh, skip a little bit, or something, I don't know. We'll see what happens next turn, and then I'll decide if I skip or not. So, let's see in a... Look, a new mission, again. So I skipped like five turns, because you know, it looked like Ended Wife was going to do something, and then it really didn't, so I kind of just skipped the last few turns, even though I recorded them. Anyway, uh, let's see, so we rewarded some military units. Lorien under attack. Incidentally, that's just where we have to go, and look, right there. It's under direct attack. Karas Galadhan is under attack. I've already read this, of course, I think, but... Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. I've read, I've read that before. Yes, my lord. They've already taken, uh... Yes. They've already taken, uh... Western, uh... Western Lothlorien here. Yes, Wait, there's a huge garrison here the last time I looked. Impossible. Where the heck did it go? As you wish. Without question. Oh, and this is controlled by, uh, the Elder Anduin. Does this mean that this is the only remaining territory of Lothlorien? Oh, jeez. Jeez, come on. You know, of all, of, all the, of all the factions to lose, you know? Or to, to, to be kind of, like, on the brink there, I mean, rather. Okay, let's retrain these archers, give them better armor. Um, right, right, thank you. Structure report. Londar Thren has completed its Hall of Culture. Alright, good. Good. Good, okay. We'll, uh, give it a leather tanner. Perth and Loon has completed its artist studio. So, we'll start gaining culture, since it's kind of been unlocked at 5% for ages. And we'll give it a town guard. And Bregost has completed its artist studio, so we'll give it a grain exchange. And then Londire has completed its armory as we saw, so we'll give it stables. Or perhaps unstables. Oh ho! I am so clever. You may you may you may hit me if you so desire. But you can't because I'm on the other side of the computer screen. Ha! There you go. Oh, we're number nine overall now. And Harad is in first. Population. Mordor is in first. That's actually not really a surprise at all, is it? You're seventeenth there. Production five. Kingdom of Gondor is in first. Financial eleven. Variags of Condor in first there. And eighteenth in military, with Harad in first. Okay. Okay. I haven't really looked at that closely, so uh so that was enlightening. Ships riding. Also I have no idea also I have absolutely no idea what Anadwife is doing. It seems to kinda of just be meandering about. You know, it's it's two big armies are kind of up here, and the other one I'm not sure if it's heading toward Karas or if it's going to try to attack uh, you are weaker than to attack Balorn or something. I don't know. I don't know what's up there. So next turn, um, next turn, uh, not Tarion, but uh, Vanafindon. Vanafindon is going. Vindon. 
is going to uh, is going to strike out and attack from uh, and attack uh, Karas there, and and he'll run into the enemy army for certain because it's somewhere over here. Search it. There we go. Search for it, my spy. Moot Lord Tremac the judge. The judge, yes, Tremac the judge. You're not going to spy on him because 33% success rate, you know, I can't... I can't complain if I fail that, you know, because... I respect you, my enemy. As I recall, he has a decent number of archers, though, including two generals and so forth, so... He shall be a difficult battle. But if we defeat him... Well, you know, we're going we're gonna to throw them into disarray. I don't know what disarray is, but... Yeah, see what I did there? Then See what I did there? No, th th if, you, if you don't, you know, the hint, the hint lies in how exactly I pronounce that. Yeah, just saying that, okay? Alright, so... Oh, yes. So, I also discovered that the Higher Dream Wastes are probably the largest region in this entire, um, in the entire mod. Because, well, it extends, it, clears, it clearly extends to the southern edge of the map, and its town is here, and it, like, extends to, like, right here. That is... And I haven't even gotten the east-west dimensions, but I have a feeling that its western extent borders Umbar. And its eastern extent, who knows? I mean, I suppose we don't know much about Harad to begin with. But at the same time, and I suppose, and, 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 and judging by Harad's current power, it'd be very overpowering if it had, you know, if it had this... If I had, like, 20 regions encapsulated in this huge expanse. Yet, at the same time, I can't help but feel that it's a little lazy. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, it makes sense, I mean, it may, it, I mean, like I said, it makes sense. It's just, at the same time, it's like, a region this big is so, so ridiculous. Yeah, it's an Umbar Castle capital. Castle, yeah, castles. Umbar, you should build more cities. Large town, okay, that's good. Just slowly preparing for my eventual invasion of un eventual un in invasion. Invasion. Invasion of Umbar. Okay, coast of Umbar, yes. And then yes, Sakalan Dajala Jalajaf, rather. Alright, so I have two castles and two cities with, with this, and Castles aren't always are obviously aren't the best option for uh, for elves, but I have to make do. And besides, they're castles, so they'll have uh, better production buildings, in, and they'll ha they'll have uh, automatically have better production buildings, assuming that the you know assuming that the umbar, for assuming the corsairs rather, have been uh, building actively. So it's not so it's not all bad or anything. Oh no, there's a good omen again. Uh, Darn it! Darn this song it keeps, it keeps triggering the um, it keeps triggering the uh, YouTube, the YouTube flagging that gets it blocked in the United States, and it's gets these videos blocked in the United States. So, well, it's very annoying to edit, and especially especially when uh, especially considering that I've fed finished editing a lot of videos, I'll be muting this part, uh, the, the video of this part. But um, especially considering though that I had been finished editing and Windows Movie Maker. Um, it's a complete piece of crap, to be perfectly honest. Um, I don't think it surprises anyone. I mean, it's a free program, and it's well, made by Microsoft. But, um, but the thing is that, you know, it's like, I don't need, you know, like, editing, pro I don't need an editing program that arbitrarily decides to delete my voice soundtrack, the, you know, the thing you're hearing right now, me talking, that decides to arbitrarily delete it all after I split, like, parts of the video to to, like, do specific editing ed editing work, and it's extremely aggravating. Extremely aggravating, and I don't understand why anyone would design a program that would do that. Because that's just not just aggravating, it's infuriating. I've gotten pissed more than a few times, to, uh, you know, trying just trying to just trying to do simple edits, like, you know, like, section off portions of the video, like these with a, um, with a good omen in it, and mute them. You know, because because but you know, but if it's you know, if I've already finished editing the video, I don't want to go back and re-edit the entire video just for the sake of this one track. You know, 
So the end result is I end up, I often end up muting entire chunks of the video that don't need to be muted simply to avoid the hassle of wanting to uh, beat whoever made whoever made Windows Movie Maker to death. Anyway, all right, that's a uh, that's enough of me talking. Next turn. Yeah, another candidate for adoption. Kandaljian. Fair fighter, loyal, handsome, obedient. You know, I think I'll actually accept him because I could use another general. Recruitment report. Okay, thank you. End of turn report. Thank you. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna make weird whistling sounds, because that's what I do. First, I now it looks like the enemy is slowly moving their forces southward. You. I should have fun taking advantage of these Teleri riders against these foresters of Haleth, though. Alright, so we'll grab... Help you. We'll grab Help. you, though. No, 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 there we go. Help. And we deselected a bunch of them. Okay. Gonna keep Lundangren's, uh... Garrison small. We're gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep Tauri in here because he's the good because he's a good governor. Governor, governor. And we're gonna start marching out to Karas. 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 We're gonna start marching toward it. Is the point. How are they finding their way? They don't have a green line painted on the ground to tell them where to go. I'm confused by this. Alright, so... Yeah, let's move on. Let's see if I'm gonna tick south. Stay alert. Shouldn't affect that his ease. movement at all. Assail them. Let's see what happens. Gondor's a couple of small forces here, but they're gonna... They're probably gonna get rolled by, uh, by Mutnor Tremak the Just. I'm actually, I have to admit, I'm a, I'm a little wary of him. And his power. Power! Overwhelming! Okay. I'm okay. Ah, let us continue the journey through the Harad Wastes. The Harad Dream Wastes. What's up here? There appears to be a... more to stay... or not. Or, where is it... where is it going? Is it finding a road or something? It looks like it is, because it... because the blue line is much longer now. You know, the blue line's very long. And then seems to go off the road again. All right, get to move on. I shall continue tomorrow. Yeah, so I'll, I'll move the spy back in back toward Umbar when it's uh, when uh, Enid wife is defeated. Elves. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's see. Elk food. Elk food. Elk food. No, Al. You know what? I don't know how to pronounce this actually. That's what I thought. Let's see. Let's see. Anything of interest I can do? Nope. Nope. Huh? That's you. Did. Look at the, look at that. About fifteen hundred away from its next uh, from its upgrade. The um, population growth is increasing. Thanks to the increasing population, I guess. Anyway, um, and we're still two eighty five here. Two eighty five. Ah. I don't think Karas Nernalet is ever going to upgrade until before the game ends. I mean, 294 turns, I mean, it's, like, maybe at the very end or something? Or, like, maybe in, like, in another 100 turns, but... Ah, uh, it's so slow, it's, it's not, uh... Why, why even, why even, you know, make, not, why even make that a possibility? When you know that, when, you know, when you know it's never gonna make it there. 701, you see... Ostgalon is actually growing a, is actually growing at a respectable pace in my opinion. You know, I mean it's slow, you know, and it's, all, it's, it's similar to Kaas Nernaled, but it's still doing better. It has my people Lord. in it. Yes. Also, the siege of Karas Galadhan continues and what happened? It had like this huge garrison before, now it doesn't. Your order. Now let's see what happens at least. Hopefully they'll, uh, hopefully the Elves of Lorien will have enough sense to, to, uh, get reinforcements there before, uh, 
before Dol Gul Dol if decides to uh, strike. Because it could very well decide to strike very soon. Right. Save. End the turn. Alright. North Ithilien attacked. As always. It's getting getting kind of boring having North Ithilien attacked so much. Construction report. Lond Arthron. This leather tanner is complete. So we'll give it a blacksmith. Bregost has completed this grain exchange. So we'll give it a town guard. And Londangren is now an is now an large town. A large town. A large town. Not an a. So to that effect, we show. Let's see. It's actually at, it's at its limit. For, it's at its limit for its guard and archery, which is kind of disappointing. Um, considering the fact that it is a town, you know, you, you think you think it would get the next level, but I suppose that might have been a balancing thing for the elves. So we shall give it its we shall give it paved roads first. Actually, no. We should give it a we should give it a port. We should give it a port? I think. So let's give it a port. Right, right, okay. Faction destroyed. The Dunlandings have been destroyed. I can only imagine. Wow. <laughs> I imagine that I imagine that they were just smashed apart by Eriador. Or or they went re or else they went rebel. They must they might have lost their faction leader in their heir and without any members of their family they just you know, were destroyed. Because this is saying it's rebel territory now. And that would explain where this rebel ship came from. This rebel ship right here, this rebel navy. In fact, yeah, that's one of their longboats. Huh. So there you go, Dunland is dead. Hey, Ulrad! You don't have any, you don't have any, any, uh, support. Nope. Nope. Ha ha! Sunk you! I like I was thanking him anyway. All right, music. We are victorious. All right. Well. Yes, sir. Full well, I guess that's uh, I guess that's the end of an era. Almost. Just one more group of wildmen to destroy. Oh, oh yes, we have 75% uh, culture here now, so we get our Eldar Windwee archers. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, let's see. Building browser barracks. I'm interested to see what these Eldar Windy spearmen and swordsmen are like, but we're s and, fall and the Fala swordmasters as well. But we're so far away from that. We really are. At least here. Well, let's see. Eight thousand here. <laughs> that very very young very young Gole the cruel is still well, he's still cruel. You know he's chivalrous. He's chivalrous, but he's still cruel. Lond. Lond Arthron is much farther away from actually upgrading to a uh, to a large city. <laughs> so there you go. You know, it's only 4,700 there, and here we already have 8,000. But of course, we're very far from the capital. I wonder if I should relocate my capital. But right now, I'm thinking that position. Of, I'm thinking that Mithlon's position makes this region a lot more profitable. You know, the I mean, look, look, every. Every town here has nearly 3,500 uh, income, and this is Lund Arthron is almost 5,000. So I reckon that um, I reckon that you know the position of Mithlond as the capital, you know, benefits me a lot more than if I were to move to Londar since the um, since the surrounding settlements, since the elements, elements, the settlements surrounding Londar are um, are uh, you know are a lot smaller. You know, Alfud is uh, is almost a, is also almost a minor city. You know, um, you just got a large town here at Londangren. You know, Siduri though is, uh, you know, is uh, almost actually almost a, is almost a city itself. So that's not too bad. But uh, you know, but it, the thing is that trade with Kyril and Kaladir here would not benefit from me changing it to the capital, really. Not as much, anyway. You know, it, it wouldn't have a direct influence on it. You know, it might it might banish a lot of the uh, you know it might banish a lot of the um, corrupt it will banish a lot of corruption in the region and so forth, but uh, you know, if I understand how this game works anyway, you know the the benefit is 
minor at best. You know, the benefit would be very would be very minor at best. So. Approaching quietly. Spy, walk. Teleport. Tomorrow's journey. Okay, so we we found a paved road here. It's still the hard dream waste though. Wow, that is a long distance all the way to the all the way to the town there. Um, all right, so let's see the I maximum extent of these armies' movement. It will be an so I can just move just inside the border here and not be attacked by both armies, because I want to try to get each army one at a time. I don't want to face them both. You know, they're they're big armies and. Well, neither have particularly powerful troops. Well, one, I don't want to get screwed by that stupid, stupid thing again. The, the um, s you know, skirmish mode deciding, hey, remember how you thought I work just, I work okay in the field and poorly in towns? I completely suck everywhere now. Actually, actually, if you ask me, I think that's, I actually think that it's um, bugginess with the actual like uh, Teleri archers, uh, then, uh, then an actual like, you know, and like, like some sort of inherent um, problem in. In general, I think it's. Uh, I have think think it has something to do specifically to Teleri archers because I've just never seen that happen with a. Um, I've never seen that happen with a. Um, with um, with archers before, not especially not in the open field. You know, in the open field, it usually works okay, or you know, at least, at least, at least uh, tolerably. You know, but that was you know that was a that was a total train wreck, and you know, as as you know, it just. Uh, I just realized I maybe I should pull him back a little more. Eh. You are weaker than mm. I. The second army may come up behind, which is what I'm concerned about, but I can I can deal with the second army coming up behind the first army. You know, we we've we've seen me fight that in uh with, with the Sylvan Elves before. That you know, that those that fight Couple, you know, I had a few fights like that, and that was, and those fights were a hell of a lot of fun. Minus that part where I lost Mortimer Danian. Remember that? Remember that? Anyway, since, since, uh, you know, stuff is about, probably about to go down, I actually think I'm gonna, just gonna go, like to make this a boring episode, so, uh, you know, just make this a boring episode of a lot of setting up and skipping turns. So, thanks for watching, you know, leave a like. Favorite this, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next time. When I believe we are finally going to end this bloody, bloody war. Till next episode, everyone. Mm -hmm.